Hi guys, I just want to share a project that I've carried out on my 2015 Hyundai i30. It's got a 2 litre NU motor in it and what I've done is I've installed an oil catch can and what I've used just temporarily, um, though I might leave it in there because it seems pretty effective, is an oil water separator as you would use on a compressor. Okay, let's uh, have a look, see what I've done. Uh, firstly, you'll see uh, on the rocket cover here, there's two pipes. Um, we have this one right here. And this is the one that actually we will attach to the oil catch can. We also have another one over here, and this is the one we don't attach to the oil catch can, unless you're hardcore and you want one on both sides. But in my case, I've only added it to the oily side, the dirty side. Okay, um, as you can see, I've attached this 38 ID pipe, 500 millimeters length, and I've rooted it down beside the engine, between the engine and the battery. Here it comes up and into my oil catch can, which is right there. You can see um, I've done 300 kilometer trip on it, and it's already collected about quarter to a half a teaspoon of uh, oil. By the way this car has only done 1800k since new so um, it's probably not fully bedded in yet. Okay then the exit pipe, I've used the original pipe that um, exits or did exit from the top of the rocker cover here down to the side of the inlet manifold. You can see it just, just there. And that attaches to the exit of the catch can. And what I've done in my case is just to keep it stable I've um, sellotaped with black insulation tape. Um, you can see right there to the fresh air side which is that pipe that goes around to the other side of the rocker cover. So it just hangs nicely in the air like that. Okay, I think it's worked pretty well. It's pretty effective as you can see there, the oil in the catch can on a 300 kilometer trip. Um, it's pretty easy to do, it took about 20 minutes to half an hour to install. Um, the parts that I used, I'll just have a look at my little list here. Um, 500 millimeters of 38 fuel pipe, that's 38 ID fuel pipe, so that's the interior diameter. Um, a medium or large size compressor water separator with a bronze element ideally. Um, two male hose connectors that will screw into that uh, oil catch can unit. And um, this pipe here I measured had a outside, an inside diameter of 6mm. So I made sure that the fittings on this catch can here were a minimum of 6 in my case 6.5mm so I didn't restrict the airflow at all. The other items that I got were some stainless steel hose clamps uh, with an outside diameter of 20 millimeters. That's so I can get around this pipe here. As you can see right there, the stainless steel um, unit and some Teflon tape that when you screw your little um, fittings into your oil catch can you can make sure that they're nice and airtight. So to summarize it again, um, the pipe that we have here, the two, the two um, pipe clamps, the two fittings which plug into the oil catch can and some Teflon tape, nice and easy. By the way, the other thing I did is that uh, bronze element you can see in the little um, oil water separator. I've kept it all original except I've drilled four 5mm holes into it so that it won't get blocked and it'll allow a nice airflow through it. So really the only function of the bronze bush itself is to hold the little baffle in there and also it has a nice arrangement that when the air enters this little chamber it's in a rotational pro uh, movement so it's almost like a vortex helps it sort of run right down into the liquid there and condense nicely. 
pretty easy to do all in all and pretty effective. Ideally a real um, catch can would be good from a proper manufacturer, but I think in this case um, it's worked well as a temporary measure. Okay, I hope this has helped. Feel free to ask any questions.